In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the Employee Setup screen and set up a new employee. To access the Employee Setup screen, go to the Setup menu and choose Employees. You can come in here at any time to update an existing employee's details, and you can use this drop-down menu to select the employee. Or to set up a new employee, we'll click the New button. We need to enter the employee alias, which can be a nickname if you like, and this is the name that will be displayed on the appointment book. And we'll assign Michelle's security level, which is employee. Now I'll give you a bit of an overview of what's on this screen. So we have the employee's basic details in the top left here, and this is where we'll enter their name, their gender, and their employee service level. In this second section here, you can enter the employee's contact details and their address if you wish to store that information. The next section is where you can enter your employee's pay details. And we also have the appointment book section in the bottom right corner, which is where you can choose their position on the appointment book. You can also choose the employee's preferred booking interval, but I'm going to leave it blank for now. And there's also these checkboxes down the bottom here, so you can leave this box checked if you want the employee to be available for online booking, and leave this one checked if you want your clients to receive confirmations for their appointments with this employee. Now I'll explain these buttons at the bottom of the screen. So we've got the Save button to save our changes, and we've got the edit button. So if I click on that, you can see that we can select an employee group. We can enter a biography about the employee so that your clients can get to know your employees and any specialties that they might have. We can also select a photo of the employee. And we can choose to either crop or pad the image to the correct size. And now we're finished with the edit screen, so I'll click Done. The next button we have here is the Capabilities button, so I'll click on that. And this is where we can add the employee's capabilities. Michelle can do standard waxing and massage, so I'll add those across. And click Done. We also have the Pin button, where we can allocate a pin for the employee to log into shortcuts. We also have the roster, where we can assign shifts to our employees. And we have the levels button, where we can set up our employee service levels. And now that we've finished using the employee setup screen, I'll click save to save our changes, and click done to go back to the appointment book. Now you know how to use the employee setup screen, you can use it to update an employee's details or set up a new employee.